Have you ever been in a situation where maybe your bookkeeper contacts you and says, hey, I don't know what this Amazon charge is for. And then you go and you look at all your Amazon receipts and you look at your orders and you're like, I don't know either because it doesn't line up with any of these orders that I made. Does that sound familiar? We all have been using Amazon for our businesses. I, I bet there's very few people who haven't been using it in one way or another. Some of us are relying on it really heavily. And one of the flaws of especially a personal Amazon account is that there's really not great transparency between what you order and the charges on your credit card. So I promise this won't be boring. <laughs> um, it might sound a little bit tedious, but what I want to, you guys to know is about Amazon Business and QuickBooks Online. There is a new tool to help you reconcile these two things. And I wanna show it to you because I really do think that if you are using these two tools, you need to be using this new, um, this new way to connect the two of them. So I really wanna show this to you today. So um, the goal of this is really to help you have more transparency in your financials. So we want your um, your line items on your PL to be correct. And we don't just want every single transaction to be dumped into uh, office supplies. That's what I see a lot of times is Amazon just goes to office supplies. And then you're like, well, that might not be what it was actually for. So what we wanna do here is we wanna make sure that our Amazon transactions are being categorized correctly so that you know what you're spending money on in your business and that you have transparency and accuracy in your books, all right? So if this is the kind of stuff that is helpful to you, I hope you will stay tuned and please also like this video if it is. Tell me um, if you're using this already, I would love to hear. And um, also just put any questions or comments in the comment section below. And um, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We're gonna get into Amazon for Business and QuickBooks Online. All right, everybody. Well, here we are actually in Amazon Business. So you might recognize this if you use it, or I mean, basically the platform looks really similar to the regular Amazon platform. Um, but we are actually in the business section right now. And I wanted to show you a couple of things because um, Amazon Business has better tracking for the act for you to actually um, connect your individual transactions that show up on your credit card with what items were actually ordered. You would think this would be a very, 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 very basic thing, but <laughs> regular Amazon does not do this very well. So you might have noticed sometimes that you're like, man, my, my card is charged by Amazon and it seems kind of hard to track back to really like where that charge came from and what that item really was. So one of the things we like about Amazon Business is that it does offer more tools to help you figure that out. And so I wanted to point this out to you. Under your orders, you can always go up and look at your orders and that's really similar to um, regular Amazon. But they do have this added piece of of the analytics section. So I wanted to show this to you. Obviously you can look at spending and you can look at other things, but they do have this thing called reconciliation. And this is where you can track your spending to the actual charges on your credit card. Okay, so I can look at things in the past four weeks and let's see here. So I can see the payment amount and that it was charged and which credit card it was charged on. And these are the actual transactions that are showing up on the credit card, okay? So even if I ordered something and the total order was, you know, 50 something dollars, um, they, you know, charge your credit card kind of based on shipments and they charge it. And sometimes they'll break up one order into multiple shipments and it'll hit your credit card multiple times. So the great thing about this is that we can see what is included with each individual individual transaction because you might order $50 worth of stuff, but then it has, you know, um, maybe a book and then maybe a gift for a client and then maybe a paper towels for your office bathroom or something like that. All these things might be classified differently on your P&L and you want to make sure that you classify them um, based on what the item is and not necessarily, um, you know, just kind of assuming they're all office supplies or anything like that, which is what I see oftentimes with people when the bookkeeping gets too detailed, people just kind of throw up their hands and say, oh, it's all office supplies. Amazon's all, always office supplies, which is not necessarily true. And we want accurate financials so that we can make good decisions going forward. Okay. And that's the driver of all of this. So if you're looking at your Amazon charges, you can see what everything is. And then if you go over to the side, 
you can actually look and find the individual receipt so you can see exactly what the item is. But it's this level of detail that gets connected into QuickBooks Online, and I'm gonna show you that next. Um, but first, before we do that, another thing I wanna point out with Amazon, Amazon Business is that you can actually do things to, um, you can actually add other team members, so you can do that. You can also set up policies and approval policies. So let's say you have an admin that you would like to be able to buy things, but maybe you um, don't necessarily want them to just have, you know, a blank check to buy whatever they want. Um, we do need to make sure that we're, you know, keeping control of costs. But as your business grows, you might not necessarily want to, um, you know, be in charge of every little single thing. So maybe your admin has access to buy office supplies or things like that. You can set up team members and you can set up approval processes here, which is really great. And then you can also set up things like, um, POs. So if you need to be purchasing things like specifically for a project or you need to have other identifiers for your purchasing, there are a lot more tools in Amazon business that allow you to do this. And this is, um, I highly recommend this. And especially if you are anything more than just yourself, <laughs> I highly recommend, um, you know, setting up other team members and also making sure that you have policies in place for buying. All right. Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and get into QuickBooks Online. All right, so if you are in your QuickBooks account and underneath the banking section, you can find banking over here on the left. Um, when you're under banking, usually it'll default to this banking tab here, but you're gonna go to this new one, App Transactions, right here. And this is where you're gonna see the ability to add on um, some linkages to different apps. And this new one that I'm really excited to talk to you guys about is the Amazon Business Connection. This one, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually connect it to mine. This is my account. And so we're going to be um, kind of popping in here and um, basically figuring out how to connect it to QuickBooks, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and go here and then it's saying, hey, did you know, you know, that it's um, easier to import your transactions, blah, 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 that they're basically gonna walk us through this process um, and they need consent. So you are going to have to tell them um, basically how far back you wanna go. So let's go to agree. And then it's going to want me to sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account. And then, you know, it's gonna have consent here and you will allow it. It's basically giving read-only access similar to what you do with the bank feeds. All right, so now Amazon Business is connected. Let's go and take a look at it. All right, so when, so it's bringing in line by line transactions, but the really great part about this is that it is showing items. And this is where the money is at for this whole process. Because look at this, this is telling me exactly what I purchased. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like a bookkeeper's dream. Because how hard is it to see a transaction coming in from Amazon and trying to figure out what the heck it is. And then you have to go over to Amazon, go and try to find the receipt. And then sometimes they ship things, multiple items in one box and you get charged based on the shipping. It's very, very, very hard to reconcile. So this is giving so much detail for us that we can go ahead and we can say, oh, actually, this is that book, Profit First. Okay, well, where do we put those kind of things? Do we put this in office supplies? Where do we put these? So typically I would put this in, I put this in office supplies and materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that as office supplies and materials into my own books, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then that has already, um, they have those right here. So I can go ahead and do that. Payee is Amazon Business. And then also it has a URL to the actual receipt, which is fabulous, okay? So what we can go ahead and do at this point is we can go and say add. All right, so the transaction has now been added. And um, then, you know, anytime we look at anything else here, we can do the exact same same thing. So let's go in here. Okay, Amazon Basics, this is envelopes. All right, so I actually have a shipping, I have a shipping supplies account. So I'm gonna go ahead and code that to shipping supplies. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect and say add. And then let's go here and okay, printer paper. All right, 
Let's see, printing and reproduction. Okay, I've got that there, and add. All right, and then now when I go over to my Chase card, after I added some of those transactions, now that bank account that, um, or the credit card that I had those Amazon business charges on, now all I have to do is go ahead and say match and match. Okay, so I've got a couple of these older ones I still have to do in here to clean up my bookkeeping, but I, this has kind of been left purposefully so that I can make sure I um, connect Amazon business in this way. So that's basically what you need to do. First, go to the app transactions, make sure everything's identified there, and then you can go to the banking tab to match those transactions. All right, and then here we go. We've got an expense. This is something that looks like it's already been added into the book. So let's figure out what this is. So this is a situation where maybe the bookkeeping has already been done for this and a transaction was already added to the credit card. So now it's gonna to try to match up the transaction. All right, so after looking at the detail of this order back in the Amazon business account, since this has already been added to the books, this is just a, and we can tell that because it has a, um, a match that it's identified up here. Um, we went ahead and it is office supplies. So we're just keeping it as office supplies. We can always attach the um, receipt down here and we can also in the memo line, you could put that URL like it's doing for the other ones. But I'm just gonna go ahead and save and close that and go ahead and just click match. Um, but you know, purposefully, since I knew that Amazon business was gonna get connected, I hadn't added a lot of these other things to the books yet. So that's why you'll see um, them here. So, okay, here's an example. So this one is actually an example of something that was ordered for my personal um, stuff. So because I ordered it on Amazon Business and it probably shouldn't have been ordered on Amazon Business, maybe I was logged into the wrong account. Hey, it all happens. I got an avocado slicer and a book, um, which is a gift, a book and a gift. So what we'll do here, and this happens all the time, you guys. So what we need to make sure that we do is that we record these things that are personal expenses properly into the owner's draw account. So that way um, we can tell anything that maybe got charged to, to the business on the business account is properly recorded and it's not coming out as a business expense, okay? So basically this is what I wanted to show you guys with um, Amazon Business and connecting it to your QuickBooks. I highly recommend doing both, okay? So Amazon Business is great because it just has more and better tracking individually line by line and then now the fact that QuickBooks can link directly to it, this is gonna save so much time for you guys. All right, well, hopefully now you guys all know how to use QuickBooks Online in the specific app for Amazon Business. Now, remember, Amazon Business has lots of other benefits besides just the fact that it now links with QuickBooks Online, okay? So there's definitely that purchasing, um, the, the permissions, the ability to add team members. There's lots of things that are really great for Amazon business. Um, there's also, you know, different products on there that you can buy in bulk, um, more discounts for, you know, specifically office related things. So definitely check it out if you're making any kind of volume of transactions for your business. Um, go ahead and get an Amazon business account. You can also, if you've been using a personal account, you can also like transfer over your prime membership. And then also I wanted to let you guys know that like just that commingling that can happen between personal and business, it's much less likely to happen when you do use your Amazon business account. If you're using your personal account for everything for your home and you're buying stuff on your business right there, it can get really, really confusing over on the personal Amazon side. So really try to think about totally separating Amazon personal and Amazon business. We really, really like um, the tools that are that they've developed over there. So, all right, you guys. Um, again, comments in the comment section below, give me any questions you might have about this and let me know if this video was helpful. I'd love to know if, um, it's making your life a little bit easier. So, all right. Thanks so much. Bye everybody.